All right, welcome back. We're here for another week of our movement class. We will get started. So before we do, move within your ability. If you feel some pain, stop. Otherwise, have a towel, a cup of water nearby, whatever you like, and we will go. So let's start sitting down on the floor with our legs outstretched, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders stacked over hips. And our hands can just be resting on our thighs. We'll flex the feet and then point the toes. Let's bring an awareness to our feet. And then we'll relax them pointing upwards. We'll inhale, reaching up with the arms. And we'll exhale, palms to the floor. And we'll give a little press into the floor. And inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. A little press, inhale, lift. Exhale. Let's do two, we're gonna go knuckles down this time. So as I come down, I'm gonna make fists, I'm gonna press, and then lift. Exhale, coming down, option to knuckle, and release. As the hands come down, I'm gonna Plant the left to reach up and over with the right, coming to our side bend. Inhaling up to center and over to the other side. And switching. Start to add a little bit more fluid motion through this. Taking out the pause. Maybe the elbow dips a little as we reach the floor. Maybe you look up towards the ceiling. Next time as you come through center, we'll reach up with both arms and fold forward. Wherever I land, I'm going to take hold of my thighs, shins, calves. I'm going to bring my chest forward and pull my shoulders back and down. So not so much about getting towards the floor, but reaching through the chest. We'll inhale the arms up. We'll bring the left foot in and we'll fold over the right. Same idea here. I'm not worried about going down. I'm going to reach forward with the chest. Inhale up, switching my feet. Exhale, fold. And we'll do two more each side. Inhaling up, exhale, fold. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale up, exhale, fold. One more, more. Inhale up. Switch and fold. We're coming up nice and tall. I'm going to bend both knees towards the ceiling. We're going to come into our rocking. So chin's tucked, cat back. You can hold behind the thighs, behind the knees, and I'm just going to rock front to back. As I come forward, I'm going to lift through the chest and pull the arms back. Nice and round. If you don't round your back, you'll have a, like a plop, 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 plop. It takes a lot more effort. So if I emphasize rounding and like a swing, kick and then pull, I can iron out the bumps. And why not? We'll add a little rotational rock. So every time we go back, we're gonna Swing the hips to the side and come up with the shoulders. We'll come all the way up. So as I go back, hips, shoulders, hips, shoulders, hips, and the shoulders meet it. We'll go once around this direction and then we'll switch sides. Good, opposite. A little hip scoop and tuck. Still keeping that rounded back. And coming back to the front. Let's add a figure four rock up this time. So 
coming up to this position. One leg is like a half butterfly and one knee is towards the ceiling. We'll go right leg down for now and we'll come right back to this position. So I'm going to rock both knees to center, right knee, half butterfly, and we'll switch. So now the left knee is down, right knee is up. what we can add, it's kind of like that same hip shift that we did to go around in circles to switch sides. So as I'm back, I point my hips in the opposite direction. And we'll bring that elbow to knee connection on the top, and we'll switch. So elbow to knee, elbow to knee. you need a little extra help still coming up, on the way up you can hold the back and release hands up. Holding the back of the thighs, release hands up. Good. We'll pause in the up position. And we'll bring both knees to the top, and we'll just sway them over to the side, coming into our side bend sits. So I'm making like a box or a square with my shins. My knees went to the right, and plant the right hand reach with the left. And we'll come back through center like windshield wipers, the knees come up, and knees go down. I'm gonna keep going in the direction of the knees, and reach behind me. Back through center, windshield wiper the feet, reach with the arm. One more each side. Good. Let's add, we'll add a step up. So we're going to keep using this momentum to take the top leg and step. So I'm going to plant strong through the hand. As I'm reaching with the arm, that same side leg will step up, coming into our low lunge. And then I'm going to retract, knee goes back, in my side bend sit, windshield wiper, same side arm as the leg steps up. Hand. My knee lines towards my foot, windshield wiper, reach with the arm, brings my leg. Good. We'll pause in the center in our bent sit with our knees up. And let's add, see if we can rock through our figure four. So from our figure four, I'm going to pull through my extended leg and drive the hips forward. So as I rock, I'm going to keep driving forward, pull, and press through my bottom leg. If this is too much, I plant the same side hand as the knee lift to the side, and then I'll come up, windshield wiper, the same way down, hand. This helps me lower, and switch. If you don't need the hand, use the momentum to carry you through. And iron out those kinks. So as I come back, nice round back, chop, and through, round, good. Let's pause in the down position, and we'll just roll over to our bellies. 
come into our Sphinx pose. We'll go forearms facing forward for now. The shoulders are going to push down and back. It's going to peel the chest up. We'll inhale a little lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. This time I'm in the up position. I'm going to take my left arm parallel to my shoulders. Right foot's going to bend. Right arm is in like a push up. I'm going to reach with the foot and coming into a little twist. Option here to dip forward or look up. I'm going to come back through center. My right arm replaces the left. Left foot bends and I peel up. Coming back. Left arm replaces the right. This time as my foot reaches, I'm going to make like I'm going, yes, and look up towards the ceiling. Coming back through center right away, I'm going to replace. Left foot bends. Yes. One more each side, why not? Replace the arm. Bend the knee. Looking up. Good. We'll plant our hands, tuck our toes, pressing up to a downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we'll just pedal out the feet, start to stretch those calves out. Alternating one heel high, one heel outstretched. Okay, we'll come up to both tippy toes, we'll lower the knees all the way down. We'll step the left foot in between the hands. And we'll come into our low lunge here. So I'm just going to shift the hips forward, inhale the arms up. Back toes can be engaged, or the top of the foot to the mat. Hands will come down, knee retracts. Might as well press back to a little child's pose. Coming forward this time, the right foot will step up, hips will shift, I'll sweep the arms up, and we'll come back. Hands down, foot steps back to our child's pose. One more each side. So inhale, float up and step, hips shift forward, arms lift, exhale, hands come down, stepping back. Hinging through our shoulders, waving forward, opposite side, right foot, arm sweep. And hands come down. This time we'll tuck our toes and find that downward facing dog once more. Good. Come up to our tippy toes, both knees will come down. And we'll come into a kneeling position. From our hips down, we'll lift up. I'm going to shoot my left leg back, coming into like a gate pose or a side lunge. Come back to center. I'm going to shoot the right leg back and turn. Kneeling, left leg goes back and turn. Left leg, kneel, right leg. And we can add a little toe lift to the ceiling. Come back, knee comes in, left foot long, left toes up, back to center, and fold. Placing the hands down, downward facing dog. Coming up to our tippy toes, land the knees, left foot will step forward, and back to our lunge. This time I'm going to extend the legs, my back heel pivots over perpendicular, we're going to find our triangle pose. Drawing a bow with the top hand, 
and releasing it towards the ceiling. Good, coming down towards the floor, back to that lunge, knee lands, stepping back to our tabletop, right side forward, right knee lifts, pivoting over. We can draw the bow as the knee straightens. I'm looking up towards the ceiling. If you're feeling unstable, you can keep looking towards the floor. You can hold your wrist, you can hold the block. I'm lifting up. I'm going to soften the knee. Rear heel lifts. Coming back, we'll take that downward facing dog. Coming up to our tippy toes, landing the knees. We're going to turn over here almost like you're flipping your dog, but baby steps for now. So I'm going to take my right foot and my left hand is going to stay down. And I'm just going to step over and sit. So like we did when we were on our bellies, going yes. I've got my figure four, half butterfly, one up, one down. And I'm going to lift the hips, come back to my knees. Opposite side. So right hand's going to stay planted. Left knee bends and lifts over. So come to sit. Hips lift. Hand reaches. Back to center. So from the side. My right foot's going to curl up. And I'm going to step over. Hips come down. Looking forward, hips come up and turn. Left foot lifts, steps over. Looking, hips and turn. Come up to kneel. Good. All right. I want to add. Where are we at? 20 minutes in. Alright, let's start to put some things together. Our traditional flipping of the dog and our triangle pose. So we'll come over to our hands and knees. Coming down with facing dog. I'm going to raise the right heel high. Bend the knee and drive it forward. Coming to my lunge. Opening up to my triangle, so back heel turns down, sweeping up for my triangle. As I come back to my low lunge, I'm going to raise the right heel high, bend the knee, stack the hips. I'm going to look under my armpit, find the floor, and we'll dip, lift, and return. So opposite side, left heel high. Knee comes through center, coming into my lunge. Right heel pivots over, coming up to that triangle pose. Coming back to the lunge. Knee bends, heel lifts. Heel high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Look for that foot as I peel down. Yes. Drive over. And down. Let's do two each side. Right heel high. We'll move slightly quicker. Coming into my low lunge. Into my triangle. Heel pivots, arm lifts. Coming back to lunge. Three legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Take a flip. You can either keep your hips lifted or dip the hips and turn. Left heel high. Stepping forward, triangle, low lunge, three-legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips. So here, if you're like, I don't know about this, let the hip come towards the floor, then lift, come back down, turn over, and back. If you want, we'll stay lifted, so right heel high. Low lunge, triangle. Let's 
like we're strumming a guitar, sweep up, keep coming forward to come down, three-legged and flip, three-legged dog, opposite side, left heel up, forward, strumming the guitar, coming down, heel high, heel bends over, wild thing, tripod, and back. Good. Let's add a fun way of getting into this. We'll use that figure four rock up that we did earlier to winch a wiper into our lunge and we'll give that a whirl. So, what does that look like? I'm going to swing over to my butt our figure four and we'll return to this so I'm gonna go left knee down right knee up as I rock back I'm gonna reach forward driving up windshield wiper I'm now in my low lunge shift that for you guys which is where we were before what we do triangle coming back down Heel lifts for the right side, flipping my dog, coming back, instead of going to downward facing, come back to the lunge, knee drops, back knee, windshield wiper, reach the hips back, switch sides. So let me give you this. So I've switched, I've rocked up figure four, windshield wiper the right side this time. Low lunge, triangle, back to my low lunge, three-legged dog, I flip, I come back from three-legged right to low lunge, back knee comes down, windshield wiper, I can sit back and switch sides. Triangle, low lunge, three-legged dog, flip. I can dip and come back, low lunge, knee plants, windshield wiper. If you have limited space where you're training now, keeping your left hand down and your right foot up, instead of reaching back to rock, I'm going to slide the bottom knee forward and switch this way. Again, I can plant the hand, come up, shoot the leg back, switch to my triangle, low lunge, three-legged dog, flip, lift, back to my low lunge. As the knee comes down again, I can't roll back. I'm going to slide the bottom leg in, half butterfly, figure four. Switch sides, plant, shoot, triangle, flow lunge, three-legged flip, we'll have the dip, lift, lunge, boom, slide, switch, hand, bottom leg shoots back, switching the weight into my front foot, Triangle, little lunge, three-legged, flip, dip, dry, knee, hand, slide, and we'll switch one more fast. Boom, triangle, low lunge, three-legged flip, dip, three-legged into lunge, Plant, slide, rock, hand, lunge, triangle, three-legged, flip, dip, lunge, knee, and slide. Crazy. We'll take a quick breather. 
grab a sip of water and we will see where everyone's at. Now we'll do the opposite. We'll go slow. Kind of milk each pose, kind of use that as our cool down, but we'll still try to work and finesse the transition in between. And since I'm sitting, we'll start seated. So, first let's do three rocks front and back. Then we'll do figure four right knee down on the fourth one. So just casual rocking, controlling our breath for two, for three. Now we're going to that right knee down figure four. Again, space is limited, plant your hand, right knee, right hand, dry, windshield wiper. On my little lunge, we'll stay knee down for now, and we'll work the hips forward. Proud chest and go top of the foot to the mat and why not let's go press it into that to lift the leg if that's too much tuck the toes to lift the knee but as I lift I'm going to shift my hips forward and down towards the floor so again top of the foot engaging that quad kicking into the floor we'll plant the knee tuck the toes Open up the back heel to the floor, strumming back into our triangle pose. So now since we're staying here for a bit, a few breaths, I'm going to really try to drive my hips forward. I'm going to check my alignment of my front heel to my back heel or the middle of the foot. I'm trying not to stick my butt out and do triangle here. I want to think about being smushed between two planes of glass. And then maybe the bottom hand gets light. I'm not really committed to touching the, the ankle. If you need the support, use it. Otherwise, take control of your breath. Calming down. And we'll come back to center. Back heel lifts. Back to that one. Just time. Toes engaged, knee lifted. And we'll step back to the three-legged dog. Try to keep your hips square to the floor. Try not to turn open just yet. Really drive through that extended leg. Even if it means being lower, keep the leg straight. Or make it feel like it's straight to you. Now we'll bend the knee and we'll open up. I'm starting to peel my chest towards the side wall. Lifting eye through the knee. I'm going to sight my landing underneath my armpit, my right armpit. Peeling that foot to the floor. I'm going to drive the hips high, reach long through the top arm. And we'll do three lifts. So I'm going to lower my hips. I've got my three points of contact. One foot, other knee, and my rear hand. And let's exaggerate this so my... Left hand's gonna to reach towards my crotch through my legs. I'm gonna press and think of throwing something over my shoulder. And down. For two. And down. And three. And now we're gonna come back. So that top hand peels to the floor. I see the floor. Heel high. Downward facing dog. Make any adjustments you need. And let's play here a little bit. So I'm going to shoot my hips up. I'm going to squeeze the floor towards each other. Engaging my lats. I'm going to line up my ears with my biceps. I'm trying not to cave in just yet. I want to press. So I'm gripping through the floor. Driving the heels back. I'll come up to our tippy toes, knees come down, left foot steps forward, right hand move to the side, windshield wiper and slide, 
and we'll do our three rocks again right down the middle. One, two, three. This time my left knee will go to the side, my right knee stays elevated. Left hand comes down, pulling that foot back into my low lunge, right side forward this time. So right side's forward, like we did before, top of the foot to the mat. Now kick into the mat, extending the leg, shifting forward, hips towards the floor. Again, that same option, you can stay toes tucked and drive the hips to the floor. Good. Switching to the toes if you aren't there already, heel pivots over, coming into that triangle pose, so front leg straightens. Sweeping the left arm up, again squeezing the hips forward, try to lighten the load in the bottom hand, looking up towards your thumb, hips driving in, and relax, and breathe. Coming back down to that lunge, going back to our three-legged dog. So right heels high, singles apply. Trying to stay square to the floor, I'm not opening yet. What if that means my foot comes down a little lower, so be it. We'll bend that knee now, we'll open the hip, and we'll look to the wall. And we'll flip, sliding the under side, finding the foot coming down, hips lift, arm reaches. We'll come down through center arm between the legs for three lifts. Driving up one, and down, driving up for two, and down, and for three, hold. Right hand reaches across towards the floor, turning us over to our downward facing dog. Again. Hips lift, pressing through the floor, and think of trying to squeeze the floor together underneath you. Engages your lats, pulls your shoulder blades down, and then let the ears fall between the biceps. We'll come up to those tippy toes, land the knees, right foot will step forward. Left hand stays down, sliding in, coming down to our backs. We'll extend the legs long. And we'll lift the left foot towards the ceiling, bend the knee. Right hand will reach across the body and we'll come into a twist. Left arm can reach up and then open opposite direction. Bring awareness. If I'm caving in and bowing my back, I want to try to imagine a straight line from my spine to my heel of the extended leg. Coming back to center, we'll bring that knee into the chest, take hold with both arms. We can also hug behind the thigh. We're going to bring the knee towards the chest, flex both heels. And see if I can flatten my shoulders to the mat. And then we'll take it into the left hand and open it up to the side. Bringing awareness to that right hip, that right leg, I'm going to press into the floor. And I'm going to reach the left leg long. Right knee will come up, taking it into the left hand and crossing the body. Right arm opens up to the side. Again, I want to try to stay in a straight line from my head to my heel. Make any adjustments as I shift. Coming back to center, again bringing that knee into the chest. I'm going to hold behind the thigh. 
flexing the foot, both legs reach, shoulders spread across the floor. Taking the knee in the right hand, opening up to the right side, Good, driving through that extended leg, bringing awareness to that hip. And we'll reach the legs long, come into three full body stretches. So legs long, reach through the toes, reach overhead with the arms, inhaling in. Exhale, relax the legs, relax the arms alongside the body. Inhale, flexing the feet, reaching overhead. Exhale down. This time we'll hold as we inhale, sweeping up. You might notice your ribs lifting from the floor. We're going to tuck them down, try to make as much contact through the back as you reach and release. We'll come into our ball, we'll rock three times. And on the third rock, we'll meet at the top. Take whatever comfortable seated position you like. Good. So sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. We're going to bring the forearms together, elbows hopefully to touch. And sweeping them wide, inhaling up. Exhale, coming down. Peeling it open. And one more coming down. Hands to the side. Thank you very much for joining us this week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. And take care.